What's up guys, Celestia here again, bringing you another guide. This time it's for the Zombie Genocider trophy and achievement in the new Dead Rising remake game. So basically, in the original, this wasn't actually that difficult. All you would do is just drive around the tunnels for an hour or two. But in the remake, unfortunately, the zombies take way too long to spawn in. You'll probably see this if you drive around here. Half the tunnels are completely empty and you, you can drive around half the tunnels and not kill a single zombie because they just take too long to pop in. I feel like they should maybe change that, like give the game a performance mode or something. But basically the way this works is I'll show you the setup for it. So you come down to the tunnels and then you come to the area with the maintenance key which I'll show you on the map. So you come here and grab the maintenance key and then once you've done that we're going to go to the top left hand part of the map. This is where the butcher area is and also where Carlito gets dragged away and there's a truck here. And with the maintenance key you can actually run up to the mall and respawn the truck. If you're further along in the game and Carlito's already been dragged away then you can just go into the butcher door and it's a lot quicker. But I was doing this on a new game again. And the good thing is about this is you don't actually need to kill 53,594 zombies all in one run anymore. The game tracks it over multiple playthroughs. So I killed about 10,000 odd in my first playthrough, about 6,000 in my second, and then this one is just mopping up the rest. So by the time you get to this area, you just drive up and down because these zombies right here, these all respawn. So this big group at the top here always respawns. And as you're driving up and down, more zombies will spawn on the ramp. And I just did this for a good couple hours and then I got the trophy. But it's it's kind of annoying that you can't just drive around the entire tunnels again just because the zombies don't spawn as quick in this game. You would think with the power of the PS5 or the, the Xbox, whichever console you're playing on, that the zombies would actually spawn in. I think if you're on PC, you could probably make sure all the zombies are here. And this would probably be a lot quicker for you. But until the PS5 Pro comes out, which... I feel like a lot of people aren't probably going to buy at this point. Um, I feel like we're not actually going to get any more zombies. So when your truck starts smoking like this, this is when you want to get rid of it. So what I usually do is I run back to the entrance. So just drive right back to the entrance and then go out and then grab the convertible. Drive back in, keep driving up and down that ramp until the convertible is smoking and then go grab the truck. Rinse and repeat. That's pretty much it. So you want to make sure you come out, grab the convertible. Then head back into the tunnel and head back to the same place, drive up and down that road until the car is smoking and then grab the truck and then rinse and repeat. And then once the truck's about to smoke you can either come out or you can run back up to the mall with the maintenance key and respawn the truck. Like I said this will take a little while, it's not as quick as it is in the original but at least this way will help you a little bit so you're not struggling to find zombies in the tunnel because there's just so many areas where they just don't spawn. You can actually trick them into spawning in certain areas but it's just a waste of time going down to these other areas. This is probably the quickest one. As you see, there's none here on this ramp, but there's loads up here. And then by the time I've killed these, there's going to be some spawned on the ramp. See, this game this game's really weird with spawning in zombies. But hopefully this does help, guys. If it has, leave a like, share the video, leave a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying Dead Rising and if you're close to the Platinum or the 100% on the Xbox. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.